Hey guys, my name is Trey Llewellyn. We are here on Unstoppable Core week number 21. It is already that money. It's crazy. Uh, so here we go. This is the comment I see a lot. I see this a lot in Facebook groups. I see this a lot in emails. I see this a lot in uh, questions when people reach out to us. Uh, and this is the biggest headline. This is their subject line. This is the body of their email. It says, my sales, and maybe you can relate to this. Maybe you don't, I don't know. Funnel is not converting. My sales funnel is not converting. It's just not working. Okay, could be a multitude of things, right? Maybe the product's not right. Maybe the, the funnel doesn't work. Maybe the links aren't correctly. I mean, there's a, there's a thousand things that have to happen for a sale to be processed. Now, there's a lot of things we can do just to make sure we're backing out correctly. So I wanna walk you through just some of our processes, some of our SOPs that we use to watch a funnel as it progresses. One of the biggest things that I see is people will build out a funnel and they'll, they'll build out the entire funnel. They'll build the upsells, the downsells, the thank you pages, the email follow-ups and all that stuff before even knowing if just plainly the product sells. So just a real quick tip, what we like to do is we like just to put up an order form. We like to put up that order form and see if we get conversions. If we do, great, then we start putting the upsells in together, we put the downsells, we put the thank you page, and everything that goes along with all that. So, what I wanna show you today is maybe where your sales funnel is stopping, okay? So as we all know, we have the lovely, wonderful, I think a lot of you guys use this guy. His name's Facebook. It's a good sound. All right, so good old Facebook. That drives all our peeps, right? It, it's holding all the people data, which we say, hey, put our ad in front of these guys, and that would be fantastic, and hopefully they buy from us. The next thing we have is all this traffic comes over into our squeeze page, right? Or a long sales letter. So this is either gonna be your squeeze, or your long sales letter. So you have this page, it's got your headlines, talking about your product or whatnot. It's a fantastic, it's amazing. And then after that, they go from the squeeze. Where do they go from there? They go to the order form. All right, this is simple for you guys so far, I know. All right, so order form, most of you guys know this stuff. And then some of you guys even kind of build out uh, the next upsell, or the OTO one, right? The one-time offer. Okay, so we'll just kind of stay there. Here's what we do, is you have to see this kind of as, and this is why it's called a funnel, but you have to see where the traffic is stopping, right? So you have all these layers that's happening. So you have traffic, you have the order page, or I'm sorry, the squeeze page, like that. Squeeze page, then you have the order page, then you have one time offer, and then of course the funnel just kinda keeps going on until you have money coming out, right? So a lot of people get stuck up on, they'll, they'll, they'll run Facebook ads, they'll run all this stuff, and they're like, oh my gosh, my sales funnel is not converting. I have made zero dollars, nothing's working. And my first question is, well, how many people even hit the order page? Ah, oh, well, two. I had two people hit the order page. Okay, well, how many people hit the squeeze page? I had 100 people hit the squeeze page. Okay, well, how many people clicked on that? Well, I had 500 people click. All right, well, obviously something's broken, right? So what we do is think about it as water, all right? So you have a pipe of water that's kind of coming down, and it has to go through maybe certain different valves, right? You have all these valves that are kind of happening as long, along with the water uh, that it's like flowing. We probably should use blue, since water is blue and not white. Maybe it's clear, I don't know. But as this water flows, right, where, which drain is it stopping? Because we want to make sure this is turned so we have even flow, turned so we have even flow. So what we're looking at is the same thing with traffic. Where are the people slowing down? Where is the nozzle cut? Right? Where is this thing holding at? I want these things to be open. Well, we look at, okay, guess what? You know what, I'm looking at my funnel and all the flow is here. We have tons of flow, but nothing is here. Okay, well that means this is broken, right? This nozzle is broken. So how does that relate to a funnel? So we have Facebook traffic. We have like a thousand people coming to the squeeze page. We look at the order page and no one's there. No one showed up which means it is broke right here, right? Think of these as your nozzles. This nozzle is broken. This, bro this, this nozzle isn't even on right now, right? It is closed. Everybody's just backing up, kind of getting like all congregated. They're all there and having a conversation. They're like, what are we doing here? No one knows. Well, that's because they're losing it on the squeeze page. So something is wrong with your squeeze page. It isn't making sense. People aren't 
knowing what to do next, or they aren't intrigued in the product. They're not clicking the button to go over into the order form. Maybe you're telling them too much. Maybe you're telling them too little. Maybe it's confusing, right? What I like to do, this is crazy, but what I like to do is I like to collect an email, okay, on the squeeze page versus sometimes going over to the order page, especially when I'm launching a funnel. I wanna see if people are opting in, and when they do, guess what I do? Is I take those emails, I put them in a database, and I reach out to them individually, and I say, hey, you saw my product. It was amazing, maybe it's a, a fishing pole. Hey, I'm selling this really cool fishing pole. Uh, notice you didn't buy it, you didn't even make it to the order form. What happened, right? And I ask them that. I, I say, hey, this is the CEO of Fishing R's, R's Us, and I wanted to reach out to you today. Want to see, uh, notice that you had a chance to look at our fishing pole, but you didn't order, why not? So that's a great way. Now, here's the thing is maybe this is broken. Maybe this is uh, the nozzle that is broken, okay? Maybe no one's getting, maybe no, no traffic is getting here. Well, that's gonna be, be dependent on your Facebook uh, ad, right? You're not either grabbing the right people, the ad is not congruent with, with who you're targeting, maybe it's just not uh, an offer that they think is great, or maybe the positioning is wrong. So always start looking at, okay, where are we breaking the funnel? Are we getting traffic to the squeeze page? Yes, all right, then that's fine. This is, this is on, right? So this funnel's on. Are we getting people to the order page? Yes, all right, well that means this one is on. Okay, are people ordering? No, oh shoot, the funnel is closed, it is off. Okay, so something is broken with the order form. So now we need to start tweaking. This is what I like, this is when I'm talking to these guys, I'm, I'm emailing them, okay? Same thing here, is what we do here is with ClickFunnels, I like to use the, uh, I think it's called the double order form, that's what I call it anyways, where they have to enter their name, email, phone number, address, and then hit submit, and then they order, because they don't get to see the price at first. So, what's nice about that is, uh, when they put their name and email and phone number in, I get to call them, especially when I'm not making any sales. So they, they've opted in, but they haven't made a purchase. So then what I do, is I make a phone call to all of them individually. Yes, that's me. I call them, I say, hey, I noticed that you uh, saw our fishing pole, you went to order, but nothing happened. Did, you, did the cart break? What happened? Uh, was it price? Was it just confusion? What is your questions? I had one guy, we had a product out that the guy filled out the order form. I mean, all these people filled out the order form, but no one ordered. And what it came down to is they didn't know the size. And yeah, I forgot to put the size on there. Like, it'd be great to relate it to something. And so what I did was I took it against a soda can. That was their idea, I called them. They said, it'd be nice to have a soda can so we can evaluate how big this is. Does it fit in their pocket? I said, oh no, this thing is, is big, right? Well then put it up against a soda can and let me see it. That all came from this type of data, emailing these guys and calling them. So again, where is your nozzle broken? Another spying tool, I've talked about this in other Unstoppable cores, but I wanna talk it again, is uh, mouse flow. So I use what's called mouse flow, right? I use mouse flow. It's a system, what it does is you put a pixel code on each placement. So you put it on your squeeze page, you put it on your order form, you put it on your upsells, and you get to literally stand behind them and watch how they move their mouse through the pages. You get to see what they're doing on the squeeze page. Are they leaving before they even opt in? Right? Are they leaving before they even get to where like the break in the news is? The break where the squeeze, where you start to tell them about your product. Are they just leaving, backing out? Are they on the order form and just kind of going in different places? Are they clicking on different things, right? What's happening on the OT01? Maybe you're making a great squeeze page, people are going through, this funnel is on, and you're like, okay, they're going through the order, and then again, nothing, it's off, right? It's off here on the, on the upsell, so this is the problem. So you always think about that. When you're going through your funnels and you're starting to send traffic, just because you're not getting orders doesn't mean the order page is broken. It could mean that the squeeze page is broken. It could mean that the Facebook ad is broken. Maybe people are getting to the squeeze page, right? But it wasn't the right people. Maybe they're just young people clicking over. So just always think about that. Where is my funnel broken? Where are the nozzles turned off? And guys, you'll start to have really nice converting funnels when you start to see which piece of the funnel is broken to where you fix it and boop, the funnel automatically opens up. The wave of traffic comes, starts to flow through. And then by that time, you have a funnel that is flowing evenly in and out. And that's what you want. All right. Hey guys, I appreciate you coming on this Unstoppable Core. There's a chat box below. I wanna know what you guys took away from this. Put in your name below. Uh, when you do that, we will draw every month a name out of the people who uh, put comments in, and they get to win a free year subscription to our masterclass. It's a thousand dollar value. Uh, they get VIPs and everything like that. It's amazing. And so anyways, I look forward to seeing you on the next Unstoppable Core. Bye-bye.